We were first to tell you about this story. The father actually led investigators to the child's body. WLWT News 5's Dan Griffin leading the way on this breaking story. Dan. And, uh, and we are about to join a press conference right now with the latest information. Let's go ahead and turn it over here now. Savalas, looks like you're going to do the honors here. Good afternoon. Again, my name is Savalas Kidd, Assistant Special Agent in Charge at the Attorney General's Office Bureau of Criminal Investigation. Chief Ray and I will both make statements. However, we will not be taking any questions at this time. Shortly after our last update at 2 p.m., we received information that led us to what we believe the remains of four-month-old Caitlin Crawford. Crawford remains were found along the river banks here, Glendale Milford Road. Caitlin's car seat was also recovered. Family members have been notified and one person is in custody. Charles Crawford, Caitlin's father, has been arrested and charged with murder. He is currently in the custody of the Claremont County Jail. While we cannot release many specifics regarding this ongoing investigation, we can say that the report that Charles Crawford filed indicating that Caitlin had been abducted from the Dollar General was fabricated. Again, the investigation is ongoing and there are no additional information that, that we can release at this time. However, I do want to express my condolences to Caitlin's family and my appreciation to the public and to members of law enforcement who have spent hours assisting with this investigation with the hopes of bringing Caitlin home safe. Chief. Chief. Chief Dennis Ray now. Thank you, Savalas. Uh, this clearly is not the outcome that we were hoping and praying for today. We would like to offer our sympathies again to the Caitlin's family. As Savalas said, the investigation is ongoing as my office, along with BCI, work toward justice for this helpless and innocent victim. I want to thank the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigations, specifically their Crimes Against Children Unit, for responding quickly to help with this investigation. Thank you to the numerous other local, state, and federal agencies that assisted us in this search. Also, we are very grateful to the members of the community who took time to call in tips and who helped keep an eye out for Kalen. Again, this investigation is ongoing, and we thank you for your patience. Thank you. Loveland police. The Loveland Police Chief there uh, giving the latest information here for us. This is certainly not the end to this situation that I think anybody here today uh, was hoping for. It has been a long day of searching here. They've been searching about three locations or so. We're talking a, an apartment complex close to the river and whatnot. Uh, earlier investigators kind of hinted that something may not have been okay in this by telling us it was an ongoing criminal investigation. And just moments ago, we were standing here when the coroner arrived on scene and told us at that point, they had found a body. And, you know, as he was saying, the chief and the investigator here from BCI, this started last night with a phone call. Now, investigators saying that phone call that Kalen was missing, uh, you know, was fabricated. We actually have that 911 call. I'd like to throw it to it so that uh, you guys can get an idea of what that call sounded like. I don't know if she was in the car. I at least stepped on the road to sort of grab her some water because she was asleep. <laughs> and I come back out because I need my wallet within like two or three minutes. <laughs> and I get it because I, I get in my car because I know <laughs> my wallet was in her diaper bag. <laughs> and I was like, she was gone. And, uh, just difficult to listen to that 911 call and then figuring out what's happened here today, telling us that Kaylin's body was found here on the riverbanks here of the Little Miami River. The child's seat uh, that the father there, Charles Crawford, reported as also being missing, also found here at this point. It's not exactly clear what went on between the time that the car seat and the baby went missing between that call and all of this and how this all played out right now. Investigators aren't taking any questions from us. They really haven't been taking questions all day long, but we do know that so many investigating units were here today taking part in this investigation from BCI to the FBI and so many others. We're going to keep working on this story for you and have a very uh, brief and quick update for you as soon as we can. We'll, of course, check in with you at 530. But for now, Mike, we'll send it back into you. All right, Dan Griffin live for us. You just heard the news conference. If you're just joining us, that missing four month old baby in Loveland has been found dead in the Little Miami River, and the father is now facing a charge of murder. Now, as this situation has been developing, people have been arriving, of course, at the Loveland Police Department, and that's where we find WLWT News 5's Tammy Mutasa. Tammy. 
Mike, this is such a heartbreaking situation. A few moments ago, that precious little girl's family showed up here at the police department and they were absolutely inconsolable. I want to show you this video. You can see there is a woman coming to the police station and she is barely able to walk. She's getting help from loved ones who are helping her walk into the police department. A little while later, the family walks out to their cars in tears. They're grieving, they're mourning, and they're visibly shaken up. As you can imagine, this is not the outcome anybody wanted, and most of all, the family of four-month-old Kaylin Crawford. Now, earlier today, I was in that little girl's neighborhood, and I spoke with all her friends and her family members who are neighbors to her house, and they're all sending out prayers to this family. As you can imagine, just a devastating situation that nobody wanted to see. For now, reporting live from the Loveland Police Department, Tammy Matassa, WLWT News 5.